Hey, what's up guys? This is Mark from uh, Trader Today, and in today's video, I'm going to go over the aftermath of the earnings, the bank earnings that happened today, um, and I'm going to cover what happened and what we should expect in the market moving forward. Uh, so uh, I'm going to go over the chart, and I'm going to give you a little bit of more insight on what's going on and what's the underlying of, of, of the move. All right, guys, so let's get started. So um, one of the big companies or banks that's reported today was J.P. Morgan Chase, uh, very interesting. They actually reported uh, very good in, er, earnings. They actually beat earnings, earnings per share by like. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see if this thing loads up. They beat earnings per share by like uh, yep yeah, eight cents. Uh, but somehow it was there was a sell off. So <laughs> that's very weird. Um, and actually with really big volume too. Um, so that's also very very uh, interesting. Because uh, that, that's a big, huge sell-off volume. Now, uh, Wells Fargo also reported. Uh, now, they, they have a lot of legal issues. Uh, and uh, they, they actually still beat earnings per share. But there's a, I believe they're, they may have like a billion-dollar uh, fine uh, pending. Uh, that could, could hurt their future uh, earnings. But uh, as you guys can see, I mean, Wells Fargo has been definitely downtrending. So uh, that doesn't look pretty good for them. Uh, City was another big bank that reported uh, today. Uh, they also had they sold in high volume. Now, interesting enough, too, they also beat earnings. Uh, actually, they only beat earnings by like five cents, but they still sold off. So all the banks literally sold off, and the uh, even the the financial sector ETF XLF uh, ended up red because of that. It ended up down 1.5%. Um, so as you guys can see, uh, this does not look good for the market, in my opinion, especially this high sell-off volume in JP Morgan Chase. Uh, again, JP Morgan Chase represents a pretty decent large percentage of the S&P 500, um, and, uh, and also the, uh, financial sector, which is very, very important. Uh, but again, we're going to see if, um, these levels hold this 108 holds. Uh, but again, I just wanted to kind of quickly mention that, guys. Um, you know, uh, so far, I mean, I was expecting hopefully a gap up and, and strong open, uh, hopefully a break of 117.52, but there was a sell off, so not looking good so far. But next week, uh, we have more banks reporting. We have, uh, I believe, Bank of America reporting, and uh, Goldman Sachs is also reporting. And I believe it's either Monday or Tuesday where they're reporting. Uh, so again, those are the big banks that, that really do matter. Uh, so we'll see what happens, guys. Again, we're going to have to keep a lookout uh, on this banks reporting. Uh, now, next week, we have a whole bunch of uh, stocks reporting companies. You know, earnings season is going to be in full swing. You know, we're going to have like, oh, look, you have, you know, you got 62 companies reporting on, on, on Monday, uh, 67 on Tuesday, 105 on, on Wednesday, 36, 80, 147, 255, 436 companies report on the 25th. That's definitely going to move the market. So again, so far the big banks, uh, not looking so hot, uh, but you know, with all these earnings and all these companies reporting earnings, definitely there's going to be a movement in the market. Either it's going to go up, either we're going to see uh, you know, a trend forming for new highs, or we're going to see the opposite, a trend forming for new lows. Uh, so in the market, you know, as you can see, uh, those bank earnings did affect the market today, and it was down like 0.9%, uh, um, but it's holding, it's holding, but we'll see, we'll see what happened, guys. So, um, you know, definitely cross our fingers that this thing holds and it keeps trending up, and we have new highs pretty soon, and all this sell-off and all this nonsense uh, finally uh, goes away and it's behind us. Because all this uh, volatility, trade war, then tensions, geopolitical uh, risk with you know Russia and Syria, all of that is affecting the market, and we're pretty much done with that. I'm done with that. I want to focus on the real numbers. Where is the money? Are these companies making money? And uh, you know, because again, there was a tax, uh, there was a tax cut, and you know, at the beginning of the year. So all that should show in the bottom line of companies. And we want to see that. We want to see that reflect in the stock market and the stock prices. Um, and again, you know, that's what I'm looking for. That's what we're looking for as investors and traders. So again, that's the, something we got to keep in mind, guys. And, and we'll see what happens. You know, so far, uh, not looking so hot, you know. But, you know, next week, uh, I think we're going to see maybe that reverse. You know, Netflix also reports was the tech sector. Again, tech sector is the biggest 
a component of the S&P 500. So hopefully that can reverse. So hopefully you guys learned something from this video, guys. Uh, any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And you guys will hear from me soon. Have a good one, guys.